Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a video game blur background. So this is really useful if you're doing video games that are older, that are in this 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And normally when you have a game in this aspect ratio, you're going to get black bars on the left and the right. So by doing this, you do cover those black bars up and at the same time, you add a little bit something more interesting, specifically gameplay from the actual video game that you are looking at right now. So let me show you how to do this because it is pretty simple to do in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to go ahead and hide these two right now. And what you first want to do is actually bring in your clip and we're going to go ahead and add two different video tracks. So I've added two here. So we're going to go ahead and add our first track on the bottom right here. And then we'll go ahead and add the exact same track on the top right here. Now this is going to be pretty important is that the first thing you want to do is actually get rid of these black bars. So right now this video is on top and this video is on the bottom, so you can't see anything on the bottom yet. And so the easiest way to do that is to use the existing crop tool. So if you go to cropping and then double click on it, you see more options here. So I think the simplest way for you to crop this is to go here to your overlays, choose this drop down and then go down here to crop. Now you see the crop bars on the sides of this box. So you go ahead and crop it. And there's one side. And here's another side. Now you can do this through the tool here, but I think it's just easier to do it visually. And now what you're going to do is go to this same exact video underneath it. But what we want to do here is actually make this a lot bigger. So then you could see this on the bottom because right now it's exactly the same dimensions. And so an easy way for you to do that is to go ahead and zoom out. So I'm going to zoom out 25%. And then on this overlay, instead of choosing crop, I'm going to choose transform. And now I can actually resize it and also reposition it. So I'm going to reposition it just a little. And you're going to have to experiment to see what works best for you. And let's go ahead and go back to fit. And we'll go ahead and click on this so then the overlay doesn't appear. So let's see how this looks like for now. So right now it's the exact same thing underneath it, but it's really hard to see what's on the bottom versus what's in the middle. And so the way we're going to fix that is we're going to use a blur tool. And the way you can see that if you go here, choose this, you see all these additional options and you're going to go down to open effects and then filters. And we're going to choose Gaussian blur here. We'll drag this right here to the clip. And now you have your Gaussian blur. And then if you go to your open effects, you can adjust the actual blur itself and the border type. I like to use replicate. So that looks better. You don't have any border around it. And then let's go ahead and watch this. So there, that looks a lot better. So you have the exact same video underneath it, except it is zoomed out and it is blurred for serious YouTubers. Check out TubeBuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. And if you want to make things like more, I guess, clear for the main video on the front and not give too much attention to what's going on below it, you could also change the opacity as well. You go back to video, then you could decrease the opacity and it'll make this darker. So now your main video really stands out but at the same time, you get this really cool Gaussian blur effect below it. And it just adds a lot of more interesting movement and video over just a simple boring black bars on the left and the right. So that's how you would do a video game blur background, specifically for older video games. It has a four by three aspect ratio, but you could do this to any other video game that you like. Just use a combination of the crop and transform tool and also the Gaussian blur filter and also opacity. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do effects similar to this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you wanted to see more of my DaVinci Resolve reviews, tutorials, and tips, I'll leave the playlist in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, 
and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.